Hello, 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 everyone, and welcome to today's episode of The Snack Break. My name is Monique, aka The Eating This Bitch, and today, oh, today, more gold things because it's still really, really hot. <laughs> um, and I'm really excited to try this one. We've got the Dole Pineapple Dole Whip. Now, it comes in other flavors, which is why I'm saying the Dole Pineapple Dole Whip. Um, it comes in strawberry. Uh, and a bunch of other flavors that I have not seen in my supermarket, but I know in Disney World and land, uh, it comes in other flavors there. Uh, so for all of the Disney adults that are watching, hi. Um, I've only been to Disney World once. Uh, I went back in college uh, on a spring break with a bunch of my friends. We had a great time. Um, I probably will never go again because it's too fucking expensive. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'd rather just go on a regular vacation. That's just way too much money uh, for me. But uh, it's really nice that they have this uh, in the freezer section so you can try this at home. Now with Dole Whip, uh, it was created by the Dole Company in 1984, I believe 1984, uh, May 1984, uh, at some sort of fancy food show. Now United Airlines used to be the sponsor for the uh, the ride situation, the Enchanted Tiki Room, and that switched over from United to Dole. And I think that this was created kind of in celebration of that. It comes in a bunch of other flavors, like I said. Um, there's a bunch of other brands that make a pineapple whip situation, but legally Dole owns the name, so they're the only ones that can call it Dole Whip. Now, these come in really tiny containers. So as I say in many of these videos, I never remember what the prices are for any of these things. So I believe this was pretty expensive. It was like, I think like seven or eight ninety nine or something. So like, I don't know, this better be delicious for how much these things are costing. Uh, so I'm just gonna get right into it because I don't want this to melt too much while I'm flapping my gums. Now on the box it says, creamy frozen treat, made with real fruit, dairy free, and no processed sugar. So obviously I am not gonna be taking a lactate for this. Uh, I actually should read the copy first because it is very, uh, it's a lot y'all. <clears throat> it's the treat with a touch of charm. New Dole Whip brings smooth, fruity, smooth, and creamy satisfaction right to your freezer. Just thaw for five to 10 minutes, then immerse yourself in the fun. Bursting with real fruit, no artificial ingredients, and enchanted flavor, your dessert dreams really can come true. So they're definitely kind of um, evoking that like Disney magic spirit, etc., etc., without explicitly throwing to that, uh, which is pretty smart. Uh, Dole Whip came, you know, is a kind of a separate entity than Disney, even though it was kind of created for them. So I think that's kind of like a smart differentiation. All right. So I've been letting this thaw for about 10 minutes. As you can see, I can squeeze this and I don't meet any resistance. So I think it's pretty ready to go. Um, it's very creamy looking and the smell of pineapple. If you don't like pineapple, you probably shouldn't be eating this. I love pineapple though, and it smells very tasty. Very fragrant. Ooh. So as you can see, the top is flat on, I believe on the box, it has this sort of like whippy thing, like, oh, you just got it out of a soft serve machine. You're not gonna get that with this. Hopefully that's okay. <laughs> All right, here we go. Now, I was about to say, for something that does not have dairy in it, it's very, very creamy. I'm looking at the ingredients. First ingredient is pineapple puree, and the second one is organic coconut cream. So, okay, that would explain why it's so, so creamy. Now, if you don't, if you don't like coconut, there is the barest, barest whisper of sort of like a coconut oily kind of creamy taste at the end. I did not detect it before I read that there was coconut in this. So if you don't like coconut, I feel like you're probably gonna be fine. Um, 
I like coconut and I mean I kind of wish there was more coconut taste in this because I love pineapple and coconut together. I love that sort of like tropical fruity flavor. Mm. As I've said also I've never tasted like the real Dole, 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 Dole Whip at, uh, at Disney so I have no idea how the real one tastes. I'm not really sure how close this is in comparison. I can say though, I do want a stronger pineapple taste. You get a sort of a whisper of it and then it just disappears. So it's nice, it's cool, it's a little refreshing, but it's kind of a letdown. <laughs> I was expecting more of a punchier fruity flavor. Yeah, it's not bad, but I feel like just eating frozen chunks of pineapple is probably a little bit more satisfying than this. Um, I get the creaminess, I get all of that, but the fruit flavor is just not that pronounced for me. And to be honest, if that's how this tastes, I was very curious about trying the strawberry one. I feel like it's just going to taste this kind of disappointing just like this. Have any of you tried the strawberry Dole Whip from your freezer section in your grocery store? Let me know in the comments. Uh, people who love going to Disney and you've had it, uh, I'd be interested to hear your thoughts too since you actually have on the ground taste experience with this. I don't think you should be paying for this. If you see this out in the wild, just leave it alone. And if you really love Disney, just save up to go and eat that instead because it probably tastes better there than it does here. All right. Uh, thank you so much for joining me on today's episode of the Snack Break. Uh, you can follow me on uh, Instagram. That's usually where I am most of the time. TikTok, I'm there very sporadically. And Twitter, I mean, if you want to raise my Twitter numbers, that would be great. But I feel like I need the, the numbers more on Instagram and on TikTok. <laughs> so uh, yeah, thank you so much. And we'll see you in the next episode. Stay cool, y'all. It's going to be real hot.